Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 7568, submitted by witness on Monday, December 15, 2003. U.S. Air Force retiree encounters Bigfoot in Sulphur River Bottoms near Cooper Lake. Year 1995. Season Fall. State Texas. County Delta County. Location details north off Texas Highway 71 on South Sulphur River and east from FM 1531 between Middle Sulphur and South Sulphur River. Most sightings were seen at the end of County Road 2070 onto the Cooper Lake area, the nearest town, Midway, Commerce, and Cooper, nearest road, Texas Highway 71. Observed, I was born in 1936 and grew up on a farm in Delta County. While working in the field, we would see what we referred to as the nude woman. It was a large animal walking upright along the edge of woods and never coming completely out in the open. I left in 1954 to serve my country for 23 years and returning to the same area that I grew up in. Sometime in the mid-1980s after a heavy rain with flooding, my baby brother found footprints where this animal had departed the water and walked around in the mud. In the early 1990s, my dad, mom and dad were traveling down Texas 71 in Delta County, and just before crossing the South Sulphur River, a large man-like animal walked across the road in front of them and stepping across the fence and heading north. Again in the 1990s, my son-in-law and myself had a couple of encounters with a large animal walking through trees in waist-deep water while we were duck hunting in what is now Cooper Lake. Around 1995, while checking my cattle about 10 p.m., I encountered a rather large man-like animal. Looked to be about eight feet tall in my light, and he went one way and I the other. One never hears of this animal any longer, and the only wild animals you see now is wild boar and black panther. Also noticed none. Other stories, just the one within Delta County where it picked up a pig. See report number 638. Time and conditions. Duck hunt. Shaded area of large oak trees and a.m. and p.m. with cattle, 10 p.m. Environment, 10 p.m. my pasture was cleared and just off Cooper Lake Project. Other were with heavy oak trees and water. Follow-up investigation report. The witness of report number 638 referred me to this witness, whom I found to be highly credible. After our initial conversation, I urged him to file a report based on his experiences in Delta County into the 1990s. The nude woman that the witness referred to was some sort of hairy creature that used to dart in and out of the woods by the cotton fields back in the 1940s. The witness told me that the creature was seen often. The witness said that no one knew for sure that it was female. Nude woman was just a local name given to the animal by those who had seen it. The witness and his son-in-law encountered a large, dark figure in the creek bottoms of Cooper Lake. The witness said the shadowy figure never completely showed itself to the men, but made plenty of noise. The witness said it was a shame that he and his son-in-law felt compelled to leave the area even though they carried 12 gauge shotguns with them. Apparently the fear that they felt was enough to overcome any feeling of security in having weapons. The witness's final encounter with what he considered to be a Bigfoot occurred in 1995 as he was attempting to find a cow in the pecan thicket. In the beam of his flashlight he saw a huge mass of hair just several yards away. 
The witness said that he smelled a urine smell like when a dog wets on itself. The witness said that he stands six feet six inches and the thing towered over him. He judged the animal to be around eight feet in height. The witness stated that the encounter lasted mere seconds as both he and the creature hurriedly turned and fled the area. The witness heard no sounds from the creature. The witness believes that the area is no longer a dwelling place for the creatures. He said that he has heard of no recent encounters and he has not experienced anything that may be connected to Bigfoot in recent years. He said he always believed that the area was only a transient place of habitat for the Bigfoot. Merry Christmas, everyone! Report number 7421, Class Alpha. Submitted by witness on Thursday, November 20th, 2003. Classic sighting on Wooded Main Road. Year of Encounter, 1998. Season, Summer. Month, July. Date, 3rd. State, Maine. County, Oxford County. Nearest town, Wilson's Mills, Maine. Nearest road, Route 16. Observed. My boyfriend and two sons, age 5 and 10, were camping in Upton, Maine. On July 3, 1998, we took a ride into Parmacini Lake. The road to get there is off Route 16 in Wilson's Mills, Maine. We drove around most of the day, stopped for a cookout on someone's lot, and then headed out in the early afternoon. It was before 4 p.m. We were riding in a truck, my friend driving and the two boys in the middle, and I was on the passenger side. We came out of what I would call a wooded area at the top of a small hill. The hill rounded a small corner and then straightened out at the bottom. The entire area on the right side was an open area at the bottom. The left side was wooded. There were no vehicles around there or anywhere for that matter. Just as we rounded, we could see at the very bottom of the slight downgrade approximately 100 to 150 yards, we both saw it at the same time. He looked at me immediately and said, What did you just see? I looked at him and without even thinking and said, Saskatchewan! What we saw was something unimaginable. The creature was standing on two legs, was very tall, approximately seven feet, skinny, and was totally covered with long brown fur. What was amazing was this creature never even acknowledged that we were coming towards him in the truck. Although we were not close enough to hit it, it never acknowledged it. The other amazing thing was that its strides were huge. It took it probably three strides to cross the dirt road, which was wide enough for two vehicles. Its gait was very stoic. We got down to the bottom within seconds. We slowed right down almost to a stop and looked into the woods. There was nothing in there. My boyfriend wanted to stop, but I wouldn't let him because of the children. We also stopped discussing it at the time in fear of scaring the kids. There were no tracks on the ground. We intended to return the next day to see if we could track anything, but it rained really hard that night, so we figured any tracks were gone. I told this story to very few people because I know it's hard to believe. I did tell one of the foresters that worked where I did. This road we went on is gated and I was able to get a key from my employer. This is why I mentioned it to the forester. I was hoping maybe he had heard similar stories. The creature was on Bose Buck Mountain and headed towards Aziscohos Lake. Also in the area was an old gate near mile marker number 12. Also noticed, just the fact that this creature was walking and proceeded to cross the dirt road without acknowledging anything, just straight large strides, and then it was gone. Other witnesses, two adults, 
driving through the area and heading back to camp. Other stories? No. Time and conditions? 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. It was a beautiful clear summer day with a slight breeze. Environment? Open hard, hardwood forest. Mile marker number 12. An old gate. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator Bill D. This is a classic Sasquatch sighting and is representative of the majority of sightings made all across the country, including northern New England. Although many reports of this type will mention the animal taking a quick look in the direction of the witness, the lack of reaction to the approaching vehicle is not atypical behavior for an animal wishing to be non-confrontational. The avoidance of eye contact and rapid stride out of view is the most typical Sasquatch response to a human witness. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatchin' t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go.